All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Enshrouded. So last episode was the day this game released. Um, we did a little deep, uh, you know, first look impressions of, uh, you know, the game. Played through it a little bit, got a base built. We did a little bit of exploring, and I, I really, really have been enjoying this one. I think it's 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 quite interesting, um, the game. It's... uh. It's got a lot going for it. Definitely a lot of potential in this one. It's not. It's. It is. You know, an, an open world survival crafting game. You know, you, you build the base, you, you go around, you loot, and things like that. But uh, the POIs have been pretty interesting. Uh, the combat, the different uh, styles, the skill tree, which is absolutely massive, offers tons and tons and tons of different ways to play the game, different classes and abilities, and like different ways that you could spec your character. Um, there's definitely a lot of that going on, but today we're going to kind of try to dive a bit more into exploring the map and seeing, you know, what is there to do in the game exactly outside of just building, crafting, and things like that. So uh, remember, if you guys do want to see more in Shrouded, just smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are actually enjoying the game and you want to see more of it. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, you consider subscribing. It really helps out. Uh, we've had so many new subscribers lately, guys, and I really do appreciate it. I want to thank everybody in chat. How are you guys doing? Mooncaller, what's going on? Wolf, Patrick, good to see you. Elimination Tank, Jens, Balti, Sheldon, Chad, Mr. Danlo, James, and Sam, Grown, and Josie. I appreciate you guys for being, you know, the first ones in chat. All right, so um, let me get this set up real quick. And there we go. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Mark, how you doing? All right, so we're going to continue our private world. We hit 125k? When? Last I seen, we're only at 124. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, so, um... <sighs> yeah, you gotta level up. The ancient vaults contain voices silenced by the shroud, yet some sparks still linger, flickering. A hunter once awaken them, uh, for they will help you along your journey. Okay, so two new locations charted. Uh, all I did was click on this. Quest. Okay, hunter becomes the hunter. So we did just get a new quest. I was actually going to try to figure out what we needed. Okay, so... Um, it looks like here we can reset your skill points by sacrificing some ruins if you want to respec, which is cool. Uh, here to strengthen the flame. Which I don't know what this does exactly. Oh, it increases our time that we can be in the shroud, too. Let me, uh, I feel like I'm yelling. I don't know why. Go 75 on that. Okay, so strengthening the flame here, guys, uh, gives us more shroud time. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that too. So there's a bunch of stuff that we have to sacrifice, but it's all stuff we pretty much have. We need resin, five resin, five red mushrooms, five bone, shroud liquid, spark, and animal furs. So really quick, let's go ahead and see if we have most of that. Hey! That dude, man. Okay, so... Resin, animal furs... Bones... That one's empty. This one just has building parts in it. That one's empty. And this one. So we only have one of the mushrooms. Oh, no, we got a couple more right here. One of them is grilled, though. <laughs> so we'll put that one back. We just need the red mushrooms.
Okay, so I don't know what that spark is, but I know where to get more mushrooms. I know where to get more shroud liquid. And the resin, that, that's pretty easy. So that's stuff we can get right now. So we're good on mushrooms. Spark comes from flame altars. Okay, so we get it seems like you get a lot of resin from these type of trees here. We'll try to go hunt down one of those shrines. So. I've actually been enjoying the magic quite a bit too. Okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, so the shroud liquid and the spark. That's all we need. Now you guys are saying the flame altars around the world. Ancient vault there. Ancient vault. Ancient vault. Flame sanctum. Flame sanctum. Is that what I'm looking for, Chat? Can I get a spark from a flame, flame sanctum? I had, a I had a spark in the first chest I opened? I didn't see one. We have this, which is a shroud core, and we have shroud spores, but no spark. Those are my spells. I can get the shroud liquid down here. The sanctum? Okay, I, we'll go check a couple of those spots out then. So we got some shroud liquid, and now we just got to head over to the flame sanctum, which we have one here that we could go to. So we'll set a waypoint there. How's the basement? Oh, we haven't we haven't started on it yet, or we haven't continued it yet. We just we just got in. Yeah, I got some I got some um of these here for my staff if you guys didn't see. Right here I got the the ice bolt charges, got some fireball and the healing channel. I got I got a couple spells for it. Okay, so we're gonna kind of go around this way and see if I can push up around the other side of this. Now that we got the grap, uh, we got the grapple, so we should be able to go all the way up here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know uh, anything about getting. Uh, the, we only got the blacksmith so far, so I don't, I don't, I, I haven't watched any videos or anything like that. So, like, you guys are probably speaking on stuff that I have no clue what the hell you're talking about because, yeah, I just haven't played that yet, gotten that far yet. Um, but we're we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a. Uh, I know it said that we can 
get more guys here in the in the vault. So there's the hunter there and the alchemist there. Okay, I see it. Yeah, alchemist there. Okay, so I think this is a bandit camp. Yep. I only see the one guy. There might be another dude up top here. I think we're clear. Definitely take the arrows. Definitely take the bombs. Careful with the shipment. Uh, we just got a new... Think POI. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we're going to head up this trail here. What I think of this game so far, I've been really, really enjoying it. I told you that shit was good. I was like, you could even take that shit and just crush it up and eat it like a salad or something. Okay, another bandit location here. Him. Oh shit. I was trying to be cheap, chat, but I had I had to, I had to use the I had to use a heal potion. We had to. We were getting slayed. I tried to I tried to do the parry, and um, because my stamina is so low right now, we just we just get shredded. Uh, there was some kind of trap. Yeah, there was some kind of trap there, and it, and it just straight sl s destroyed me. That shit is no joke, man. It's a lot of damage. <gasps> yeah, 
Yeah, we gotta start dumping some points into freaking stamina as we level. Yeah, you gotta be careful with these freaking barrels here, man. Oh, shit. There's a whole fucking treasure under the ground, dude. Us. I love the destruction in this game. It's it's pretty cool, man. Yeah, a double jump would be clutch. Yeah, that would definitely be the where it's at. Oh, blue. Uh, yo, that did a lot of damage to this spot, dude. So the spot is actually quite far away. Scavengers camp with mine shaft. Yeah, let me actually check my skills real quick. I do got a skill point. Um Yeah, that assassin tree just crew cut chances increased by ten percent. Trickster. Now there was a magic ability here. This one, blink, that I'm trying to get. Takes four. It's gonna cost me four skill points though. I don't see I don't see the double jump though. Is it this one? Press jump button while gliding will give you a small height, but no. Double jump, there it is. Yeah, so... I'll actually get this. Cryptic, what's up, brother? How you doing? How you liking this one, man? This game is fire, in my opinion, dude. I'm, I've been really enjoying it. Minus getting blown up, but it is right there. So, yeah, there's this mine shaft right here. That's our way in. Overshadowed by Pal World. Yeah, yeah, Pal World's definitely uh, taking the uh, survival crafting genre by storm, but I definitely feel like this game has. I don't see an explodey bit in this one. I heard. I thought I heard a sizzling. Because uh, this game is definitely unique in its own right. Shepherd's staff. Okay, let's keep it moving. I wonder if there's mounts in this game. Okay, that's where we gotta head to tap flame sanctum.
No, yeah, this game has a way different vibe than like Pal World. You know what I mean? Like I, w I play Pal World to play Pal World, but this game definitely does things, you know, way different than Pal World. It's it's just completely different vibe, completely different feel. I I, I do like this game a lot. That looks like. can't wait to uh, perfect my build, man. I know it's going to be a while, chat. I know it's going to be a while, but one can dream, right? The bandages actually heal quite a bit. But yeah, that's a that's a pretty pretty real deal shroud cloud here. Love the Tekken stream. I had a good time with that last night. Yeah, I had a good time with it. So what is this spot? Oh, fuck. Damn, that almost killed me. You saw, <laughs> that almost killed me, dude. I wouldn't say Pal World's losing to anything. No, I mean I love Pal World. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's it's a top tier game. I'm just saying, like when uh, when it comes to this game and Pal World, um, they're they're two just completely different vibes. And I could see how some people wouldn't enjoy that one and would enjoy this, and vice versa. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I feel like if you like Pal World, you'd probably like this. Minus the. Like, well, it's, it's survival. This is more survival fantasy. Meiji warlock stuff, which is fine by me. All right, it's going to be getting dark as hell here. And I don't have a torch on me. I do. I want to see what this area is here. I would head back to base, but we're not going to be able to... I don't want to waste any time. So that's that dangerous shroud there. We can't fuck with that. So let's keep going this way. It's actually quite hard to hit. Thank you. 
Okay, so we gotta find a way up. We'll go around here on this side, see if there's a way up. Yeah, I definitely would. Yeah, I would not say uh, it, uh, the game appeals to less people. I'd say the people. I mean, the the game Pal World. The only people that game won't appeal to are people who look at the pals and be like, oh, this game looks like a kid's game. But those are people that are just judging it by the way the pals look, which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if they were to change the graphics of the pals to something else, then it would, it would I, more people would not assume it's a kid's game. But if anybody who looked at that game and thought anything about it actually played it, they'd quickly realize, oh, you're like, yeah, these little dudes look like cartoon Pokemon things. But it's not a cartoon Pokemon game whatsoever. And even if it was, though, you know what I mean? Like, I personally enjoy Pokemon. Like, I play the, the, the games. I play, you know, I play Fire Red. I play Leaf Green. I you know, I play um, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. You know, I, I play those games and enjoy them quite a bit. So, like, the whole it being like a Pokemon reference like that th th doesn't affect me at all like okay like the it, i i that that's actually probably what drew me to the game you know what i mean um but no the game in it by itself is is definitely appealed to a humongous audience it's the the the, the sh i was surprised like i thought the game would be a little popular um i was blown away by how popular that game actually is right now somebody's saying like eight million copies sold that's like, that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? You look at games. I don't. Even, how many? I don't even think Days Gone sold. And I think Days Gone is one of the greatest games of all time. Didn't even sell that many copies that fast. Okay, so I'm not seeing a way up, chat. I'm not seeing a way up right now. This is annoying as fuck. Um, and the thing that... I, I said this in one of my videos before, and somebody actually just left a comment. The one thing I think Pal World did very, very well is it bridged the gap for people who weren't fans of like, uh, cause I know a ton of you guys in chat wouldn't and not, and I, this is exactly how I worded it. There, there's a ton of you guys in chat that would not touch Ark or Conan with a 10 foot pole. People are like, yo, fuck this game. Like I would never play Ark. Uh, people just don't, don't enjoy it. Um, they don't, but those people love Power World. You know what I mean? So hidden, hidden tomb. Okay, so we found another one here. I'm not going to explore this right now because I want to figure out how to get up inside this area, but we know it's here. I went into the mine shaft, I think. I went into the mine shaft. I don't know if that was the mine shaft or what, but we blew into the wall. But yeah, um, I know Pal World definitely brought uh, a lot more people into the survival crafting genre. Who otherwise wouldn't care for the genre. Takes four hours just to get ready uh, for hour long boss fight. Shit, longer than that. Well, I've been preparing for a boss fight for probably about a hundred hours now. Okay, I think we can get up this way right here. Yeah, this looks like it might be it. Um, so I don't know if this is where we need to go. So I don't know if the flame sanctum is on top or if it's inside here. I don't think this is it.
Damn, backpack's full. Okay, so this was just a cave. I mean, old school, I wouldn't call Pal World slop, man. It's just, per yeah, it just comes down to personal preference, dude. Like, I would put, like, if somebody said, sat me down and said, hey, man, you know, I'm talking about some of the best survival crafting games in, in the world. Somebody said, hey, Ark, Conan, you know, Pal World, I would pick Pal World over both those games. And that's just my preference. Like, not saying those games aren't good games. I just, I don't, I, I prefer, uh, Everything else that Pal World has to offer over those two games. You know, and I'm somebody who sits there and I hate Fortnite. I, I think Fortnite's fucking one of the worst games ever, but I can't sit there and deny the fact that there's tons of people that do enjoy it. You know what I mean? So just, and that's the thing about gaming, man. It's subjective. You know, what one person, one man's trash is another man's treasure. You know what I mean? What one person likes, another person might hate. You know what I mean? And it, is, it just is what it is. We'll never, and nobody will ever, we'll never see eye to eye. I'm mad that my torch broke. I actually might fast travel back to my base because I don't know how the hell we're going to even get in here right now, guys. Um, ooh, there we go. What is this? So, I thought you could fast travel to these things. Uh, but yeah, you know, what, what some people like and dislike, you know, there's some great games out there that I, I, I'm i like, nah, dude, it ain't my thing, you know what I mean? I, I don't really like that game. Or there's some games out there that people absolutely hate that I I love a ton, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's, yeah, game, gaming is just, it's 100% subjective. It's it's all depends on who's looking at it and what their personal preference is. If you don't like zombie games, you know what I mean? Like, if your zombie games just aren't your fucking thing, obviously... No zombie game is going to be in your top five. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I, zombie games are one of my favorite games of all time. So if you look at my top five, I got games like Days Gone. I got The Last of Us. You know, things like that. Okay, never mind. Sun's coming up. We're good. So... Flame Alter chat. Let's see if we can spot it from here. I don't see Jack Diddley squat. So it has to be... Uh, oh, is that it right there? No, it's just a fucking tree. So I think this one is inside... You know that... Cave with that super, super deadly fog? I think it's in there. What about Pal World or this game? I would say they're too different for me to even compare. Like I couldn't pick one or the other. I think I think Pal World has a few more quality of life things that I enjoy um, about it. But people also said that those things come in this game too later on. Um, like your chests can be connected to your workstations. It's done with like some kind of magic thing or whatnot. So uh, if that's the case, then hey, I'm cool with it. But. I need a heal. Yeah, chat. So it says this area is up. Maybe it's underground in here.
This shit is so good. Try my new staff. Oh, well, I don't want to. The, the problem with the staff is the charges. And right now, these enemies are quite weak. So I'm trying to save my. Um, like. I'm trying to save my um, little bit of magic that I do have for stronger stuff. That's. So, okay, so maybe this path here that I walked right past like a fucking dumbass. Yeah, he said he was gonna have to put it over near the toilet, probably. Yeah, yeah I think this is what we were looking for, guys. Yeah, but what it seems like, it seems like this game vibes with Valheim a lot. Um, it does kind of have that Valheim feel. I feel like this game is definitely, oh, there it is. Yep, that's definitely what we were looking for. I personally feel like this game is better than Valheim. I only played a little bit, but the bit I did play of Valheim, I, I am enjoying this one a little more. Feels less grindy, but who knows? This shit could, get, could be just as grindy. <laughs> oh, I fucking know, dude. Because uh, Valheim was kind of a grindy game. All right, let me go ahead and... <laughs> Zover sought refuge in a flame, but it's warm. The worms are no longer... Offer its spark at the flame altar in your home. So did I get the spark when I ki- Oh, right here? This, yep. Okay, so I gotta make some more space and we can take the- Take the- the flame. Um... Shit, I should've emptied out this crap before I left. There we go. So now we got our first bit of spark. This is more quest heavy than Valheim. Yeah, like I said, I didn't get too involved in Valheim. Um, but it, Valheim definitely seemed more uh, less driven. And, and that, that was the one thing I pointed out about this game is there is, does seem to be a lot more quests and the game kind of points you in the direction where Valheim's like, you got this area and this boss, kill it. And then you kind of go around, you work your way up to, to doing that, you know what I mean? And, and then you get it done. Which is not bad, you know, it is what it is. I just, I prefer this style. Uh, Valheim was quite sandboxy in that aspect. All right, we can just fast travel back. On the... Uh, building aspect of these games that's supposed to be the lure of how well build, building mechanics are um, I mean I feel like we did a pretty decent job in this one so far with the building mechanics but yeah I mean when it comes to these survival crafting games the, the building of the base has never been something I've like that's not my selling point you know what I mean some people I get you know how that like that's that's their selling point you know what I mean um, let me see deposit all for me, I'm more, um, 
I'm more interested in the, the adventure, the story, the things we're going to explore and see and do in the game. You build because for me, I build a base in one game. You know what I mean? I've, I've built a I've built a base in all games, for the most part. You know what I mean? Whether it's Conan, whether it's Ark, like yeah, the the building mechanics might be a little bit different, but I'm still just it's the same fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like how many fucking bases can I build really? Take that flint arrow. Okay, we'll keep that, keep that. But I've also never been a huge base builder type of person, like, as you guys know. I mean, now I have become the base builder 9000, you know, the, it's kind of what I do, but before, before all that... The, the base building wasn't really... I, I could care less. So we'll grab the mushrooms. We needed... Uh, what else was it? We needed the liquid there. We needed the resin. I got the spark. And bone and animal fur. There we go. Basic base, bro. What? No, dude. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear that nonsense. Meta base builder. All right, so it's strength in the flame. There it is. So our flame is now level two. We can now go into the shroud for longer. I want to see what the next level requires. Wax, salt, spark, shroud wood, flintstone charcoal, and scavenger matron helm. Okay. Now the one thing we do need to craft, guys, is the forge. Uh, we needed charcoal, wood logs, stone. Yeah, so we needed metal, and we got we got all the metal we needed last episode. So we'll take store all this. Damn it. Okay, so we'll grab the wood, grab the stone, grab the metal. Um, my charcoal should be in here, right? Yep. We got charcoal. What else do we need? That's it. Okay, so now we got the forge crafted. Yeah, do it like that. It's got a little little blacksmith corner. I mean, eventually, if I get my base building up big or my my base you know area big enough, we could build him his own little blacksmith shop. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm not I'm fancy like that, guys. You know how I do it. You know how we do it around here. What is it? He won't just stay tucked up in the corner the whole fucking time, dude. Now get out. All right, so now what can we craft on here? So we could do metal sheets. Okay, we could do metal sheets. Which I already have like three of. What is it? Okay, so let's see what this guy can craft for me now. Um... So we can get a better shield. Requires five metal sheets. Uh, let's actually get some of those cooking up right now while, while we're waiting. Uh, charcoal and metal. Get as many of these going as we can. Is that my phone? Yeah. Alright. 
so we just congratulations on first real base looks like nice home great to see that you are evolving your other bases always looked so basic I mean, I wouldn't say all that, dude. I, I want to say all that, dude. Most thank, thank you for the super chat, brother. Why my shit gotta be all why why do we gotta be basic, dude? <laughs> and so do I craft I can craft bandages over here, right? Uh manual crafting. Bandages. String and cloth. Yeah, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a bunch of those right now. The bandages are quite good, in my opinion. Okay, so manual crafting. We're going to go bandages. I'll do eight. Basic. Disrespect, man. But most again, thank you, so I appreciate the love, brother. Whoa, well, and Josh, thank you for dropping the five gifted on the channel, man. Everybody who receives one of those memberships, welcome to the fam. Basic Brian build. Really, guys? Really? That's what we're going to do now? So we got the ancient vault for the hunter. Let's, let's go push that. Um, I think we can probably do clear that one. Uh, oh, I didn't check. I didn't check the rest of the stuff we could craft. Okay, so yeah, we got this. Damn, these metal sheets take ages. So, is there anything we could do to speed this up? This man's over here really making these shits. Okay, so because I was gonna do a better shield, let me see armor. So we got the rising fire fighter set, and we got the full armor set. So one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine. So all together, we want this rising fighter armor set. Um. We're gonna need about nine metal plates. Oof. Strike while the iron's hot. Okay, so while we're out adventuring, I'm gonna get all of the metal plates going that we can. Cause I I'll, I got 12 in queue right now, which is good. That's enough for us to get the full set of armor. Make sure we got all the metal we had. Yeah, so we got everything we have cooking up currently. I'll do a bit more charcoal while we're out. All right, let's go. So we kind of just got to make do what we got for now, chat. Stay above the shroud as much as we can. 
One thing I noticed is, uh, string. Guys, string is used in a lot of, uh, crafting recipes. Look at that. We were able to stay quite high. So where we gotta go is up there. What can I say? I was really impressed when I saw you built this one like it was your own house. When man cave basement is finished, I am really impressed. Appreciate you most. Hey man, I'm telling you that what I plan on doing underground is gonna blow your guys' mind. It's gonna be the real deal. And yes, it will be finished. Okay, so you guys see the way I came? Ain't gonna work. We're way, way down on this cliffside. I would have to go back to the bridge and come over this way. So the best way for me to do this is go like this. Love the fast travel in this game too. It's, it's, it's nice. So that's where we got to go there. Nice, we just got another spark. And that flame shrine wasn't even freaking marked on the map. Expect there to be something here that's going to be violent. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's just a mushroom thing. Miguel, what's going on? How you doing? I uh, use the hammer to terraform the ground in your man cave basement. Uh, it uses no stamina and it's super fast. What, like pulling the ground up? We're gonna have to try that. Because mining it was definitely a little bit of... What the fuck is that? I wasn't even worried about it, Chet. Just deleted them.
Okay, so it's gonna be a bunch of these little big furry dudes. So yeah, there's a part of the music in this game that sounds like the music when Goku goes Super Saiyan 3. It's like that da 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 Like you'll hear it. Damn, bro, I was trying to fucking play the game. Do I know if this game is on console? Uh, I have no clue. Is this game on console, Jazz? And on, I know Pal World released on PC and console. I don't know about this one. I think it might be PC only, though. Yeah, and some of the music does sound like Harry Potter for sure. Oh, he's resistant to that because he's big furry dude. Nine thousand cartoon. I'm actually feeling the magic though, chat. I, I, I've been trying to make a, more of a point of using magic in games because I, you guys know, I always play a rogue, always because that's just my go-to. I love, I love my rogue. I love my bows. I love the speed and dashing around the battlefield and cutting things up super, super quick. But I was like, you know what? Let me try some magic, dude. Let me try some magic. Got one more fireball jutsu. Nope. We have no fucking mana. There we go. You want the smoke, bro? I didn't think so, dude. You knew what was about to happen. One tap. I have those mana potions on deck. Do I even have any? I didn't realize how slow our mana regen is. I mean, we're not even like an actual wizard right now. But eventually, chat, we're going to be on the level of the time wizard. You guys don't know. Now you do. Time wizard is the goat. But you can't say the time wizard. I don't know. I, I, it just feels wrong if I'm just like, oh, the time wizard. No, I got to say the time wizard. <laughs> Heal and ice. So the ice is not going to do shit against these dudes. Just 
chest in there too. My way was cooler. Damn, man, we just got some more fireballs. Okay, how do I get into this middle area here, though? There's a Harry Potter music. buttons for this one. I think I had some twigs on me. We can make this happen. How is that not, how is that not it, dude? God damn. Okay, so we gotta hit the button underneath it, the square. That's two done. Right? Yep. So we gotta hit that button underneath. So that's it, dude. I don't give a fuck what this game is trying to say right now. That's not, that's not the answer.
I'm, I'm tagging it, chat. You can see the little spark. I think it wants me to get closer, though. That's that's it. I'm gonna have to run, jump, and then swing, but I'm gonna risk it and freaking magic. Man, you guys talking about wasting a whole? Maybe we could use an ice bolt. Well, magic's range is quite limited, actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to definitely swing. We're gonna give it a go. God damn it. Okay, so I just gotta swing to that wall right there. chat no you should ah. Ring of Stamina. Definitely get that equipped. Plus one Stamina and Stam Regen. So they both go up the same way. Something sounds squishy up here. It's time for me to bust out the time wizard. the room with the dude or I open up his thing let me uh so the hunter is obviously here in this container Just like that, guys. We got the hunter. Now, the other one is here, the alchemist. Now, I was actually kind of on my way over there.
Let's, I forgot how big this fucking map was, dude. All right, so what we're gonna do is we, we can head over to the alchemist. I feel like we have enough resources to pull it off. So there's five different crafts, people. We're about to get the third one. Try to get the third one right now. That's the vault over there we need to get to. And if we go this way, we could stay above the uh, shroud for the most part. page Damn, that was all my mana too easy So no, we're not the all-powerful time wizard yet, Chad. We, we still got to put some more work into mana. Yeah, I need to get like a fucking lantern or something, dude. I had a torch earlier, but it got broke. We could craft another one. There we go. We actually sleep to the morning. Go and look at that. So some kind of underground cavern here. Let's check my skill points. I, I, don't, I don't know if I leveled up again. I also... Yeah, I don't think we got another level yet. No. Plus, a lot of the good stuff costs multiple points. Let's check underground here. Walker. Okay, so we do got a mana potion now.
Like I'm gonna open this and then all those cages are gonna open there. Ooh, that's a nice. That was also a nice ring. I'll, I'll, I'll rock the magic ring for right now. That thing was pretty goaded. It's mana, health, and uh, stam. It's a really good ring. Yep, told you. See, chat, that's what happens when you're the. The skeleton killer 9000. I ain't gonna lie, chat though, those bombs are kind of fucking OP, dude. <laughs> They're so good. Cots hold. Cool cockshoe. Damn, bro, let me play the game. Try to go around the back side of the house here and see if we could uh, stay out of the shroud. Does anybody know if there's any mounts in this game? It's a big ass map. I mean, with the the glide and that shit's pretty clutch. You don't really.
Because you could kind of fast travel to like the high spots and then just glide everywhere. Especially once you get better gliders and ways to keep yourself in the air. Okay, so the ice works good against them. Yeah, I mean, the the uh, amount is not 100. I, I just didn't know if they had them or not. Not that the game even needs them. Big explosion. Ooh, good shit. Do I have any sticks? Yep. Uh, barely. I had a, brought the wand with me. Another level. Okay, we just found a new location. Uh, stash the deadliest bits in my last place. Anybody would look. Uh, you know the cave well enough. So we just got a new yep, location over here. Down to the south. We can hit that on the way out. As long as we got some inventory. Yeah, we actually sprint way faster now.
Love the AoE on that. By the time we get back, all my metal sheets should be done too. So then we're gonna have to figure out whether we're gonna do new weapons or new ar or, or the armor set. Got a new scythe. Uh, 14 damage. I think mine's 16. Yeah, no, we're good. to get one of those repair stations I, I don't know i think my my gear repairs after you do certain things automatically anyways So let's head back to base. We got two new. Oh no no no! Let's check this. Uh, this down here. We got a little bit of inventory, right? Yeah, we got enough. We got a little bit of space. from that note which I can see you
Oh, the big dude got hit by the trap. So what? I wasn't even worried about it. So this that came from the mission or from that note was yep, there it is. The scavenger stash. Ooh. Did have lock picks, but they're back at base. Fucking dope. And that acts as a torch. The damage isn't huge. It's only 14. Um, but we can obviously upgrade it. Make it stronger. Because this one's a little stronger. But this one, yeah, that, that thing looks sick, man. Uh, this looks cool. That's sick. All right, so now let's head back to base. Come on, I feel like we've already done quite a bit of exploring too, man. Oh, you can craft lockpicks. I didn't. I didn't even check that. Well, I was gonna, I was debating whether I should uh, use my resources to craft weapons or if I should use it to craft armor. And now, after getting weapons, I'm like, yo, maybe we shouldn't even worry about weapons. Because we're getting good gear drops. I mean, our armor, I think it, I don't know. I hope we get something that we can like salvage gear with here soon. Okay, so we got 17 metal plates all together, guys. I could do, I think the full armor set and a shield. But first things first, before I spend any resource on anything, let, let's get the, uh, Let's get the alchemist into place. Hey, Mark, thank you, thank you for the gifted, brother. I appreciate it, man. Something to Yeah. Shroud core, we can make it bigger. Hey. 
So now we can upgrade our altar, make my base area bigger, as you can see. Extended it out quite a bit. How do you just spin the motherfucking thing, dude? Do I gotta place it first? No. I'm pushing R. R ain't doing shit. See, it does it on that, but on this, it doesn't do anything. Because 90 degrees is just... No, I didn't. So everything else rotates, but the block. Whatever. It's not. It's not a big deal, guys. I should keep it up a little bit just so it's not like going into the ground at all Now you guys will see what I'm doing. You guys will see understand what I'm trying to do here in a sec. Togo, what's my graphics card? I have a 4090. RTX 4090. Now, yeah, you guys will see what I'm trying to do here. It's a bit, uh... I'm going for a different vibe, you know what I mean? Like, I want this to feel like, uh... We'll just do it, and you guys, you guys will understand. Should be enough wood to do what we gotta do. Hey. 
Right, we gotta build the blocks first, right? Well, they actually have scaffolding. That That's pretty cool. I hadn't made, like, my own ghetto scaffolding. I'm gonna make one of these, actually. Um... Rough wood. We do a rough wood. Oops, did not mean to get that. Like that. Stop fucking yelling like that, dude. So the roof did not... Snap on there how I wanted it to.
so we gotta go ahead and get some more uh, roofing material. The snapping wasn't a big... I just didn't have it turned on. <laughs> yeah, I had the snapping off, and I was like, why the hell isn't this snapping? It's good. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't have it on. Yeah, as soon as I turned the snapping on, it went right where it needed to go. God damn it. Dude, the scaffolding is way clutch, dude. We didn't we didn't have this <laughs> when I did it the first time, we didn't we didn't have the scaffolding. Oh nice, those peaked together perfectly. And it even created like its own little peak. Look at that. We didn't have to do anything super special or nothing. Fill that hole in. To flame and glory. There we go, chat. You're wondering what I'm doing. I'm building this guy his own little blacksmith forge, you know what I mean? So he so it's he's separate from, from my house. Building him his own little forge here.
Whoop. My bad, dude. Didn't mean to. Like that. I played the first few days with the blacksmith and his friends just watching me sleeping in some creepy <laughs> There's the door. That's the door. So for the double doors, I need to make two of the regular wooden doors. Right? Because that's what I'm actually going to switch out mine with. But we need a little bit of metal. Which I think I used up all of my metal, unfortunately. But we'll, we'll get those changed later on. It's not, it's not a big deal. my summoning staff go hey. did I use it up already? I mean, it's not like they're expensive, but I didn't expect it to just get blown through in like two seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna reposition this dude. There it is, guys. Now it's all professional, like. Right? Now it's all professional, like. Got my, I got, a, I got a little blacksmith. Got to get him some stairs, though. There it is. We got. So now we got our blacksmith here. In his own little spot. I, I haven't made him a little table and shit. To flame and glory! So I'm just trying to see. So, weapons wise, yeah, the, the armor is probably our best bet. We got the metal sheets we need, though. We just need the uh, animal fur and a bunch of resin. You still here? Yeah, so he's got his kiln, and he's got, uh... And so now we gotta do... Now we got the alchemist, right? Now my place feels so empty, dude.
can improve your favorite weapon. Okay, so yeah, this is what I wanted to... No, no, let me go get... The, I gotta get the rest of the crafting supplies real quick. Uh, so we're gonna up our armor right now. Um, we need the animal fur and resin. Damn, is that all the resin I have? Might go up. Oh, we got a couple more right there. So let's go do the upgrades real quick. All right. How to salvage items. Let's enhance your pre preferred weapons with some of the, the gear you've been collecting. We've got to salvage a weapon or two. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty now. Okay. Salvage and enhance. The Wailing Blade. You claim the Wailing Blade. I forged it for the grass for she left me fine. You may wield it in her place. Pierce the Shroud's heart. Flameborn. That's what my daughter would want. Okay. Even with your new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat. Yep, yep, tracking. Okay, so. Fight fire. We got a lot of extra weapons and crap. Let me, uh. This stuff squared away real quick. So we're gonna go do take this out. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take some of these older weapons and we're not even older weapons, just weapons we know we're not going to use. And we're going to break them down. Store those for right now. Okay. Uh, so, like this. These we can break. This rusty sword. 11, 14 on that. Uh, hatchet. This old sword, this. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to store this in there. Now, how do we break these weapons down? Oh, here we go. Salvage. Okay, so when you salvage weapons, you get runes? And then you use runes to upgrade? Yeah. Oh, no, that was a delete. Okay. So not everything can be salvaged.
right, GG. So let's get this in there. Now, all together, I got 164 runes. Okay, looks good. Sukai, so, uh, build magical storage when you can and craft. Uh, so crafting materials on them to craft directly from Yeah, that would be that that would be dope Sakari. That that's definitely goals. Um, we're not there yet, but yeah, definitely definitely want to get that Um, okay, so now we got all our coins. Let's enhance our weapons here So adding enhance You salvage some items now you can use some runes to enhance your weapons want to try yes Okay, enhanced equipment. We're going to go with the Wailing Blade. Okay, so the first enhancement is 12. Second enhancement is 15. Third is Cutting. 21 on that one. Oof. Do I just want to max this bad boy? I actually kind of want to put some points into this to my staff. And maybe the hunter bow too. No, I don't know. I mean, these coins don't seem that hard to get as long as we're making sure we're staying on top of shit and salvaging. We should be okay, right? So we're gonna fully max this sword, okay? Then I'll drop a point in both of these. I don't want to blow through all my coins right now. Gotta have the carpenter for the magic. I, I have no clue, Robert. I, I um I haven't got to that point yet of the magic chest. I've just I've, people have been talking about it, and it sounds uh, pretty good. Sounds pretty good. I do have uh I got the hunter right now, and I have the alchemist. So. Okay, so he's all done. Now I'm gonna build a little. Alchemy shed here. Cause I'm trying to build like a little community, you know what I mean, guys? Like I have my place, and then we'll have like. Like a little community, you know? I'm gonna leave a little bit more space though, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably grow my building. A bit, you know, we got the underground part, and I might expand on it a little bit. Because uh, we're going to need more areas for storage and shit like that. So, I'm going to put the alchemists. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it right here. We'll leave it like this high. I 
My little alchemist hut is... I'm not gonna make it too big. I don't, I don't think the alchemist might... Might not need as much space as the blacksmith, you know what I mean? I feel like the blacksmith needs... Needs a lot more space. This doorway seems so much shorter. So I'm saying. I don't know if it's like an, an illusion. I guess that's fine for us. A little. Sh it seems shorter than these ones. It is shorter by like a lot, dude. Hmm. I don't know, that's weird. Oh, cause that's a wall section, not a fucking doorway. Don't, don't ignore it, chat. It is what it is. There we go. I clicked on the wrong piece. Uh, this is the door frame. I used the the quarter or the little half wall. I was like, dude, why does that look so much shorter than the uh, the other one? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Summon in the alchemist. Hey, hey! Yeah, well, I'm building a little village, Priscilla. Yeah, I'm giving every, you know, all my different people we rescue, we're giving them their own little space, you know what I mean? It looks cool when we do it like that, you know? We don't have to, but... I thought it was cool. I'm trying. I'm trying to go. Uh, trying to go all out here for you guys, guy. Chat. Uh, Miracle. I joined the living once more, and I'm Balthazar and Alchemist. I craft potions and other air. Greetings, Flameborn. Okay, so shelter, uh, my friend, my potions, my tools. Unless useless without shelter, please build me a room where I can work properly. Okay. So, we're going to have him sheltered up here in a sec. He's saying, pretty much saying he needs a roof and shit, so. These guys won't work for you un until you get them some proper living.
Yeah, the scaffolding is pretty pretty dope, guys. I like it. Definitely makes this a, a lot easier. Just being able to pick it down, put, or put it down, pick it up. Let's get that good sleep. I mean, eventually we're gonna have to uh, like change out, you know, for some like stone and stuff like that, but. Right now this is, this is what we can afford, chat. It's coming together, you know what I mean? We got a little. We got a blacksmith house over there. Or a little alchemist hut here. Our main house. Kind of just building like a little village, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. So. Carpentry. Another set of hands would be useful to us if we plan to expand the base for one. Uh, could use more storage for my potions. I happen to know the location of another el uh, ancient vault, so that he's gonna tell us where to find the the carpenter. And then eternally magical. Huh? We have specs of dust and a world of stars, my friend. Do you dare reach out with some grass, a piece of eternity, perhaps obtaining an eternal spell would suit you? I know one was buried in an underground tomb alongside its dreadful master. You could. Do use a lot of good with it. an eternal spell. So is that a spell that's gonna that I won't have to have charges for? Okay, so he does health potions, um, which are pretty cheap. And we only need water, berries, and mushrooms. And he'll craft us up some of those. We got shroud potions. Oh, he also makes uh the charges for the uh, spells. Grinding so civil, basic grinding so especially good for hard ingredients. Okay, so he's gonna need this production place. That was flint and stone. Flint and stone. I do got a flint mine that we can go hit too if we if we do end up needing more flint. Yeah, we definitely need more flint. Eternal spells are permanent. Yeah, that's dope. So now we're just gonna have to manage our mana. What's my overall opinion? Either this game is dope as hell, man. I've been having a blast with this. We're gonna we're gonna be working on our armor and weapons here soon, but let me uh pop this. Get some more stamina. Got a flint mine right over here. There's flint at my base? Where? Yeah, we didn't get the glide. That was fun to glide. And then we got flint right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a flint vein underground. I remember that. I don't remember where that was, though.
node goes pretty deep. Uh, part five, state of decay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got it uploaded on the channel. It's just uh, like I told you guys, I, I, I released those. My, my tempo for that is about twice a week because I have to record it on my off time. Um, and as you guys know, my stream schedule has been so hectic the past few days, like like weeks, really. I uh, got a lot going on outside, outside of uh, outside the channel. So um, if I release them too fast, then people are going to be waiting a really long time so i want to make sure i space them out at a tempo that's comfortable for me to be able to record so my goal is about twice a week so i'm thinking we'll probably release one maybe tomorrow if not tomorrow then definitely the day after So we're just getting a lot of uh, flint right now. But I tell you right now, episode five is rough. It definitely turned the whole guide into something quite rough for me. <laughs> I made things really, really hard on myself, but it's going to be a good learning experience, I think, for everybody. All right, let's see. How much flint do we have now? Only 46. We're almost out of pickaxe anyways. We're just mining until our pickaxe breaks. There it is. Uh, what will be my next uh so for the second channel um i don't really have anything planned only because every time i stream over there it requires me to purchase something and i just don't i've kind of tapped out on spending for right now so uh i don't really have anything to open right now so i i i, I don't know i gotta figure something out Okay. Here you go, bro. So, so he was happy about that. So, big dust—a protein-rich ingredient created from crushed critter shells. Glow dust, shroud cores. Hmm. I will pray for your Let's commune with the flame. Another survivor awakened. The alchemist will prove helpful by crafting potions and healing tinctures. Okay, so this just requires five shroud crows, guys. That's easy. Um we can get those pretty easy through the alchemist now. And then what else? He's got spiritual cane. So this is a... Hmm, level 17 staff. What is mine? 
or 17 damage staff. Mine's 16, so. But mine's also upgraded once. I'm not. I'm not. It's not a huge upgrade, so I'm not gonna really. Oh, he does have some magic armor though. Damn. We can go pure time wizard right now, chat. I'm pretty sure the hunter is going to have bows and maybe some like stealth armor or hunt like rain, you know, like that light. He's got cloth armor. He's got like warrior armor. And I'm pretty sure the hunter is going to have, um, what's it called? Like that, that lightweight armor. Do we have enough to build one more shack for our peeps here? I don't think of how I want to shape the village, you know what I mean? So I was thinking either we could put another building next to this one here. Or we can kind of corner it and then start coming this way. Well, we got a lot of real estate over here. Um, I don't want it to go to waste by blocking it off. So, yeah, we'll just do another building next to this one. Pat with the 22 months. Thank you so much. Did I play this in early act? I, I have never played this game before. No, Pat. No. I didn't even know about it until you guys told me um, just a few weeks ago. Yeah, my second channel, if you guys are wondering what my second channel is, um, where I do my, my unboxing for my collection and stuff like that, uh, it's linked in the description, but the name of it is No Breaks. It's a little State of Decay reference, but uh, yeah, it's linked in the description right now. And somebody asked, yes, you can build um, tar, you can build shroud, uh, you can build stone, flint blocks. Uh, there's a ton of, you can even do metal blocks, bone blocks, so you don't only have to build out of wood. I'm just building out of wood right because it's the cheapest and the easiest right now.
<clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna make my place a bit bigger though. Uh, we're gonna expand on it. I'm gonna build it out a little more, and then we're probably gonna make it a little longer uh, and go further back. Not right now. I'm just saying eventually, because our place is a little. I, I know we're gonna we're gonna outgrow it quite quick. the most building I've ever done before chat this is crazy building a whole little village whole little village Careful with that damn hammer out, chat. <laughs> Fuck around and delete some shit, man. Uh, I'm, I went a little, went a little crazy on this one, chat. Went a little crazy on this one. You see, I made it. See, how I did the roofs. Went a little crazy on it. built a house i built four dude we got a house i built all of my little npcs their own little work areas and we're building a village right now chat fuck building a base we're building a village this is gonna look like white run by the end of this playthrough joe i'm telling you right now So Okay, so we get our hunter done. Hey. Now he didn't want anything else. He doesn't want anything else. Let's see what all she wants. Elkin the Elkin Scree the Hunter, <clears throat> surviving together. 
I survived for a long time. Not to know there's mm. other like me. Do more preserve it than preserve. Persevere. We have. We must settle down, grow crops, revive the land. See, that sounds exactly like what we're about to do. There's a place I remember. Another ancient vault was built. Uh, you should search it. Okay. There are many things we lack mm -hmm. without a steady supply of salt. It can't, it, it'll, it'll be challenging to preserve fur. Um, I might not be from here, but I know the land well. Here, I'll mark a location for gathering salt in your journal. Don't disappoint. Okay, so she can craft me a small backpack, which is an extension to my backpack that enlarges my inventory. Um, string, torn cloth, and dried fur. I actually have a couple pieces of dried fur that we got as loot drops. Um, scrap arrows, drying rack. Do salt to conserve... Uh, so that's how we get the, the fur. So we're going to have to build this for her. Fur patches will give us animal fur. We got the resin torches, wax torches. Here we go. So this is the scout chest. This gives us plus 12, 12 stamina. Stamina, range damage. Critical range damage. Okay, yeah, that's, that's dope. I think I might build this set chat. We can also make some carpets. And we can do trophies. Yeah, the scout set's nice. Okay, so the farmer is in that one. Carpenter's in this one. The eternal spells over there. We're actually going to go check that. I want to see what that is. And we had another elixir well here, too, we haven't cleared yet. Yeah, the pick so your your weapons and stuff repair every time you go to a workbench in your base. The your stuff will auto repair. Uh, no, I don't have any arrows. I gotta, I gotta get some more. Now that we got all that flint, though, we can craft up a whole bunch of flint arrows. I'm gonna. I, I, actually, I don't even know if I have the ability to craft flint arrows yet. Let me see. I can only do wood here. I'm wondering if on the. No. She gave me the ability to craft what scrap arrows. So I don't know where you get flint arrows from. Start picking up all these mushrooms that we see too. Mushrooms and berries. Uh, so we can start doing up some health potions. Have to unlock them.
But we got some arrows now. So will these guys come out? Yep, they'll come out the shed. to this back side of this place here. We should be able to go over toward where the eternal spell is. Now, I don't know if the enemies that we cleared here are going to respawn already. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're good. The hunter unlocks new ammo types? Alright, cool. Yeah, I only seen the scrap arrows in her inventory. That's why I was confused. This is the Goku music. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, there's a big ass chunk of shroud over here. Huge chunk of shroud. Oh, don't fucking do that, dude. What the? F now, I don't know what level this shroud is. If we land in it, it could kill us almost instantly. I think I might be able to glide to that flat part there, though. Let's give it a go. Hmm. No, it ain't gonna work. Not gonna make it. We can get close at least, though. Hopefully, the shroud isn't OP. Nope, we're good. Normal shroud. Got a new bow, a pine short bow. Twelve power draw speed is faster. Arrow speed is faster. Power is the same actually as the hunter bow. We'll try it out. See what short, how the short bow feels. I think I still think the hunter bow is probably going to be better for that pure damage. But I don't know, they do the same damage, so. A level five <laughs> it's so hard whoa what is that oh shit and that's lava is that, that yeah it doesn't that. Oh, we fucked up chat Looks like it's going lower, man. So looks like we might be able to cross there. So I think we got to push north through the shroud here.
So right now we're trying to go after an eternal spell. Okay, here we go. This looks like we can cross here. Maybe. Yep. Beautiful. Well, that was a level seven over there. Can I go in that? That shit looks dangerous. Okay. So it's just red because of the lava. Yeah, we can stay on that side and keep going north. Okay, so this looks like yep, we can follow this path up. Quest areas over this way. Okay, so this is the buried tomb where we're supposedly going to be able to find ourselves a eternal spell. Okay, so we're going to actually have to pop some shroud potions to stay up in here. But shit, did I even bring any? Of course I fucking didn't, dude. Why would I? I'm not... Damn it. Problem is you can't fast travel out of the shroud either. I don't think. Yeah, you can't fast travel out of the shroud. Fuck. Stand near a torch.
Do we see a torch on the wall? Torch here. Nope. Not didn't do anything. We just got now we gotta we gotta go. Leave now, I'm fucking trying, dude. Shit. God damn it. Knew that was gonna happen. Yo, we're dead as fuck, chat. Don't go in the lava, whatever we do. Don't go in the lava, because we can at least get our gear back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me the fuck out, bro. We didn't bring any fucking shroud potions, dude. We didn't bring any shroud potions, dude. <sighs> now granted, I didn't know that I would be in the shroud like that, but still. Gear is there. Yeah, I know, I know, know to make sure I have shroud potions on me at all time. I mean, I, I would go back to base, but I don't want to walk all the way back over here. But then I'm like, we might as well just go back to base. Grab shroud potions. And do it the right way. Yeah, if we can get that other spire done, um, we'll be able to fast travel straight to here. And we won't have to worry about, you know, only being able to go here. We'll be able to travel to this point, too, which would be really, really dope. Yeah, I had freaking the scaffolding and all my building stuff still on me. Like, I'm such a noob, dude. Oh, we got some mana potions. Got that. Um, we don't need that.
Now, this guy can make me some more shroud potions, I believe, right? We gotta get a, a freaking wall torch. We'll get these guys some torches so the rooms stay nice and lit up. Can I have up to six flame altars for fast travel? Oh, you can? Oh, shit. Okay, nice. Charcoal, liquid wood acid. Yeah, I don't have that. So we're just gonna have to roll with the ones we got right now, which is four. Let me sleep. We'll head out in the morning. Yeah, we might do this uh, buried tomb and this spire while we're over there. I have time to tunnel my way to higher ground, right? <laughs> I mean, it probably would have worked, but we yeah, we just didn't have any time. Uh, so you can build. I don't know if you can build in a shroud necessarily, but I know you can. Uh, you just got to put down one of the altars, but I didn't know if I could have more than one. People in chat are saying you have up to six, so. Sukari with the super chat. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I believe the athletic tree has the double jump. Yeah, we're working on getting double jump right now. Um... We just don't have the skill points. The sword hits different. Yeah, the uh, we just don't have any skill points. We're we're, we're one thing away from it. Oh, my quest. Yeah, I didn't even look at that other build another flame altar journal quest. But I think if I were to build one, I'm going to build it somewhere where we don't have access to, like, fast travel. Probably, like, somewhere over here. We know we got to go into the into the uh, shroud quite a bit. Make sure we don't land into the damn lava.
Can't see very well. It's quite thick. Nighttime, you can actually see through the fog quite a lot easier than you can during the day. Gonna find a cross point up here, right there. Whoa, what the hell? Something just tanked my shroud time. Wait, what? Did that shroud... Why did that not give me more time? just increases the maximum well, that's fucking stupid ow I didn't even touch the lava, dude. I don't want to hear it. I didn't even touch the lava. Oh, so you gotta get drink it before you go in. Once you're already in the shroud, it doesn't matter. I'll do that. Okay, so now we got eight minutes on shroud. For 45 minutes. I'm tracking. Just trying to get my gear back now. what we gotta get. Hi, how you doing? So I'm trying to see if we can skirt around and make our way up through this unshrouded area and then go like that.
CSE, what's going on? How you doing? Every point of endurance gives you 10 points of stamina for gliding, dodging, and fighting. So here's the spire. We're going to try to swing around the backside to see if we can get to where my gear is and try to find a nice smooth pass, path into the shroud. That way we can travel in and out. Oh, uh, CSC, I have no idea what that is. Get by over on the. What the fuck is that? It looks like there's a little part in the front here where we can get past this. Right here. But getting back up is the issue. That's the area I tried to glide to and I fell, right? Yeah. See if there's a way across over here. Stop it, dude. Oh my god. So backside of the spire here, like way, way back, we got a way out, and then on the f f way uh, over there, we have a way in. So we just got to make sure we go really, really high up in this like back area here, and we can glide over. Yeah, I mean, we could build a fast travel thing out over here, right? Until I unlock the spire. What does it take to build one of those? Uh... <clears throat> Just some stone.
right, so that's another mission down. We got a flash shovel there. We're good to go. We got our gear. We're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna uh, get up on top here. I should be able to glide. I'm hoping I should be able to glide over to the right to the tomb. Well, that's just quite far. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. It seems like it actually respawned my my stuff up here before I fell into the lava. Just trying to be fancy and shit. This is chat. Just don't just don't try to be fancy. Just be normal. There's nothing wrong with just being regular. Serious dangerous as hell. It's not even fucking lava, dude. Can I do this in seven minutes? Dude, this is... You bitch, you fucking bitch. Poison. Oh, there's sword is sort of goaded, dude.
Final chance, six minutes. The eternal bolt. So we, so we can use ice bolt infinitely now without having to worry about uh, run out of charges. We'll still use mana, obviously, but I'll take it. There's probably uh, eternal of all spells in the game. was crazy as I was running up this road and I ended up cutting right trying to go down this way and all we had to do was keep running this way and we would have got out of the shroud the first time through the planet. Really don't have time to be doing this right now. Oh. Okay, so this is that. Oh my god. And we're home free. I had a wand on me. I don't. I thought I. I thought I had it on me, but I must have dropped it back at base. You know that place had a ton of uh, enemies spawn at it right there. Okay, so we got that eternal spell.
Yeah, we got a bunch of flint. Stack finish. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to try to get this uh this armor really quick. Do I want the mage armor though, chat? Do we want the mage armor or do we want the hunter armor? Really, bro? The mage armor was pretty good too, man. Where is my wand? Yeah, so I got my apprentice wand here. Which one looks cooler? I mean, they, they're both pretty cool. I mean, it all just depends on play style, you know what I mean? Like, like what do I want? <laughs> I never play a pure mage in anything, really. So, I was thinking about doing, like, a rogue mage hybrid. But the way the gear works, at least this... Like, if you look at this mage gear, like, it, it, it has some stats, guys. Like... This right here, you know what I mean? 11% magical crit chance from the hat. Uh, plus 24 mana on the chest. 9 mana on the pants. Uh, magic damage multiplier. 2% uh, more damage on the gloves. And then mana regen on the boots. Yeah, you know what, chat? We'll change it up. We're going to go mage. We're going to go mage. Just because it's something that I don't usually do. All right. We're going we're gonna to play outside the box, all right? We'll go outside my usual comfort zone. We need some freaking resin, though, dude. I mean, I'm still going to keep a melee weapon on me, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, guys. Uh, this man... No, no, no. Yes, we're good. Um, you, you always need a melee weapon, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay, so bone meal, bone meal, okay, well, how, how do I get bone meal? Okay, so we got a little bit of bone meal. I wonder if I can make it, though, out of bone in the grinder. Also, let me get this damn dude a torch. It's so fucking dark in these. Oh, we need, what, three torches? Damn, they're expensive resin-wise, though. Huh.
And these don't cost resin. String wax. There it is. Candle, baby. We'll, we'll give him a candle for now. Oh, yeah, we could pass time. Yeah, true. Instead of wasting any resources right now. I do got to get him some, uh, some light, though. <clears throat> okay, so we should be able to get the bone meal here. Yep, there it is. I don't know how long this is going to take. That's an hour for 55 of them, though, so that's going to be a little bit. But one doesn't seem to take too long. How many do we need for this? So we're going to need two, seven, so nine plus four, 13. 14, 15. So we need 15 bone meal all together. See, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Like, a mage though, guys? It's just, n we're going potter on them. I'm not gonna let it. I'm not gonna let it keep me down, chat. Now, can I use the wand? Like, like, say there's like a button or something out of range. I can use like the wand or the staff to hit that, right? So we already got the hat. Um, I want to grab this next. So we need two more. It's still magic, even if you know how it's done. Please tell me there's some really cool mage armor in this game, though. That, that's all I'm worrying about, chat. Is future future gear just looks cooler than what we're currently wearing. Because this ain't it. The hat ain't it. This looks like the hat that's going to just be like Gryffindor. Okay, so we got the seven for the chest piece. Focused. 
I mean, the robes look actually pretty cool, though. Those aren't bad. I mean, we look like... Okay, now we need three more, and we'll be able to get the pants, then two, so five more all together, and we will have a full, our full mage set. Yeah, I, I, yo, is there a way to change my beard, chat? If, if we could, if we could get a bigger beard, I think we would be good. But I don't know if there's any way to change your beard. So if we could just make the beard a little thicker, you know what I mean? I feel like I feel like it would be there. Uh, can I make the good shield? I mean, I could probably make the good shield. Uh, let me see. What did it cost? What is a ward? Parry power. Oh, damn. Poison resistance. Oh, it's a spectral shield. That's fucking... No, oh, we need that, dude. Yeah, we're going to make that, chat. It's a magic shield. All right, we need charcoal, though, for that. And... Uh, the metal and some more bone meal. So maybe we'll look a bit cooler because, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so we'll let that cook up. Let's get the spectral shield. Screw pants and boots, or er, and and gloves right now. Let's get the shield. So the ward. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it. Never let the cold stop. Oh, dude, it's so much more fitting. Much better. Much better, guys. So this is almost... So I think I needed, what, five? Yeah, we need five, or four. Four bone meal for the pants, and then two for the gloves. So we just need six more all together. Um, let me upgrade, uh, let me enhance my wand, actually. Uh, so it's... I want to enhance my magical stuff so we can do more damage. Let me see. Do I have a... This is the best wand I have, right? Yeah. Until we get a better one. I'm going to enhance this a little bit. Okay, so he can enhance it once here. I don't, is it? I wonder if it's. Let me see. I think it's probably the same. Yeah, so he can only do it one tier. It's because this is a pretty low tier wand. This And it only gives us plus two ice magic protection, but it does give us two more damage. Glad to help. 
Okay, two more bone meal, chat. Two more bone meal. Okay, there we go. So now our magic is completely top tier. As high as we can get it. Uh, I do got to start dropping some more skill points into magic, though. I was trying to get the double jump because I feel even as a mage, like, double jump will be important. And then once we get double jump, we can start specking into, like, probably wizard and battle mage. This actually boosts the shit out of your wand, battle mage. Yeah, we're going one straight Potter status. I mean, we got staff too. Staffs do like the elemental damage, um, but the wand is that that Potter damage for real. Can you build more than one grinder? Ah, uh, probably. I don't see why why you couldn't. Um. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Probably would be faster if you had more than one grinder doing this. Okay, but we got what we needed. We got what we need. All right, let's do this. Okay, so pants. Oh, uh, I need string. And gloves. Okay. Alright, so now we got the full mage set. So there it is. It's full mage. Water, um, mushrooms, and berries. Come to him, we'll have him do up some healing potions. Actually hit quite hard. We're gonna be a badass major, all right, chat. Burn of a hey, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to do my best, guys, to, to really embrace the mage in this playthrough. And I hope you guys enjoy it. That shield is so good. Probably open with my staff and then switch over to the wand. Okay, so we got enough to make a bunch of health pots here. There it is. Okay. So we got 20 health potions.
Yeah, I, I, I gotta do. We do gotta craft up some mana potions. I got two of them on me. Um, I don't know what the could. I couldn't tell if I, I. I gotta check. Did the alchemist have mana potions? I don't think we have them unlocked yet. So good. They call me the Time Wizard. The hat's kind of growing on me now, chat. Oh, the backpack upgrade too. Yeah, we should get that. Freaking backpack upgrade. So we can really be the Time Wizard. Most of thank you for the super chat, man. Oh, free mana potion. Let me get that. The last buyer was actually pretty good. Good puzzle. So our mana regen's a lot better when we're actually spec for it. Ooh, nice mana potion. I know you guys hear that pot of music in the background. We gotta push that with our hands. Now you just need the H-I-G-T revving transportation broom broom. Yeah. <laughs> Fly around on a broom, dude. Uh, Bob with one, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you, man. That's a mid. Uh, that's a pretty big wand right there, guys. Twenty damage. It's better than the apprentice I have currently, which is at sixteen upgraded max. So yeah, this apprentice is big damage. One button for this place. Spikes aren't active yet. They're gonna probably go active as soon as I uh, trigger the thing. Damn. I think we can make that. We just gotta jump at the last second. We're gonna have to go like this, and then jump. Oh, that's still pretty sketch. Oh, 
Oh, they alternate. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. We got it anyways. Spikes really didn't do a whole lot of damage, though. I thought they were going to one-shot me. These actually have some pretty good loot in them. We just got metal uh, plates out of one of them. Tons of wax. Hopefully not of the ear variety, but... Sheets. Okay, let's open that door on that side. that door. Come on, baby. RNG. Give me the... Dude, I had a lockpick in my fucking inventory, dude. That really put it away? No, I got one right there. Oh, never mind. Six charges of fireball. Like once we get blink, we'll be a lot better off. When it comes to like that type of shit.
Oh, you can craft lockpicks? What, what is the requirement for them? Oh, here they are. Oh, just metal scraps, okay. Damn. Wildwood shortbow. Oh, nice. So that last thing turned the spikes off, too. Perfect, yo, we may definitely got through that one a lot easier than the first one. Maybe because now we know what we're actually looking for and what we're doing. Low metal, drenched in sickness, flooded with bile and bitterness. Fight back the shroud and unveil the peaceful glades lost beneath. Boundless wilds of untold beauty lie hidden under the decay. So we got four new locations. And now we have another fast travel location from up here. Yeah, there are if you clear the well the eternal wells or whatever that clears the shroud 
It's a mine right there too, or some kind of underground tomb. There's darkest sin right now. Looks like I'm. Well, we're going now. Can't see. Probably come back here during the day. God damn, scared the fucking shit out of me, you stupid bitch. Do this just past time so that way we could see. Wisp of light, got a spark. Okay, so we got this ancient vault right behind here. Let me actually get that quest going. If I want to make lockpicks, I need to get metal. I don't have any metal on me. I only got the sheet metal. Okay, so I think we got to go down through that. So is this one in the shroud?
Looks like there's like a bridge or a path right here that we can take straight in. God damn. Yeah, we could, we, we should, we could get the food buff. I don't have any food on me, though. And the berries, I don't think, the, those only give you a regen boost, right? They don't give you a health buff. We gotta eat cooked food if we're gonna get a, a big buff. Let's see if I can maybe do this. No, that don't even give me... Can increase your your cast time with the wand because it's very very slow. Oh, you get more bolts at once and shit when you upgrade? Okay. 
Yeah. I'd... The one thing I noticed though is you level quite slow. Like, what level am I currently? Um, I think I'm only like level five. I don't even know where to see my level. But it's, I haven't been getting a whole lot of levels. Elixir wells. So, right, let me refresh my time real quick. Yeah, I'm, I, I didn't even notice my wand's about to break. damage Fuck, dude. time for this as soon as I drop in there I don't know how we're even getting back out I don't even know how I'm getting oh my god you're you keep respawning dude all right we're gonna have to just slice those guys with the sword
Refresh my time. We're gonna have to go fast. My wand's almost broken. Wands broke. Ah! Oh, shit. Should have hold held off on that. Damn, I didn't need to use that right now. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. There was no joke to get to, bro. There was another hidden location back here I want to go get really quick. I'm going to be taking a risk with my time, but... Right here. Dude, and we just got a huge wand. Got an epic tier wand right there. See, all because I came back for it. And it's a scorching wand. Shoots little fire projectiles.
Also heal myself with that too. Now, does the raw meat give you... No, the raw meat fucks you up, gets food poisoning. This looks... Okay, I was like, yo, this looks like a little cave. <laughs> Yeah, the carpenter was uh, definite goals. We got him now, though, so it's going to be good. Just trying to see what this area is over here. Let me actually try this heal. Oh, shit. Now, I know this area right here is pure shroud because we can see it from our base. This whole area right here is all shroud. I don't know if there's, a, there might be a well in it. I don't know. We're going to have to scout it at some point. But we got another elixir well there, but we got a skill point. Let me get that spot. Is this the Goku song? So it's like double jump chat? Do we start... Dumping points into magic. Hmm. Oh, I can't even get double jump here. I need. I still need to drop four more points into. Now we're gonna stop. So this requires us to have four points in uh, endurance or whatever. Yo, I'm half tempted to uh, reset my damn points back at base, guys. What do pages do when you dismantle? I, so I don't know what the, the the books are for yet. We haven't figured that out. I thought it was to craft like the spells or whatnot, but I, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. So we could reset all of our skill points. 
Because right now I got... Let me see what my skill points are. We got one in sneak attack, which we don't need. And then we have one in merciless attack, which we don't need. So technically we could pull both of those points out. And even... I don't mind these endurance points because stamina is still pretty important when it comes to like dodging and stuff. But these two points here, I feel like we could easily pull... Oh, damn, this cuts your staff charge by half. Yo, that because the chat the staff actually takes a long time uh to charge up. Yeah, we could boost. Shroud damage? Because this is what I want to want. I want to get blink. So battle maze, this is unity. So this seems to boost wands over here. And then, so we're gonna mainly wanna go this tree here, wands heavy. Well, we don't have to worry about too much in this tree. This is a lot of healer stuff. And then um, we can go blink here. And then uh, go heavy in the wizard tree. Yeah, so that's, that's gonna be my, my, my goal, guys. Let's go ahead and reset. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and, you know, I have 13 whole skill points, what the fuck? Oh, these ones were expensive, that's why. So we're going to go... Here, here... here those are both like three when you suffer magical damage you have a 10% chance to generate mana for each health point lost okay so we're able to get blink Then they have blink attack too. Increase all damage. Uh, when attacking with a magical weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. So let's grab that. Increase your mana by 20. Okay, so now we're, as you can see, a bit more specced. Now that we got Blink, this is what it's supposed to... Oh, yes. Still takes our, our, our stamina, so we are going to have to put some points into stamina. Well, there it is. Uh, can, you, can you jump and blink? No.
Yeah, so we're definitely in a good spot. Okay, I want to test out my magic damage now, though, to see if, now that we're kind of specced into magic, if we hit a bit harder. I didn't get no time to work on the basement today, Chad. We've just been going ham on exploring. We got a lot of the map, like, explored, though. We, I feel like we got a good bit done so far. Let me test to see how... <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Okay, so our wand damage is pretty good. I mean, these guys are level one, so it doesn't fucking... Not really good test. So I'm going to do, let me get my inventory squared away because I need to make sure that we keep our, um, we do got some more ruins in here. Check that. We do got to make sure that we keep our, uh, our guy, our stamina up. Because, yeah, I was f focusing quite a bit on... So what is this? Five minute duration? Is that add five minutes to our... Timer? So this gives us... We gotta cook food, though. Alright, so we're gonna deposit that. Just use heals pots, they're easier. Combine those two. Drop that. Increase his strength. Honey is stamina recharge for three minutes. It's actually pretty good. Um, my nose. This is a damage multiplier. Gives us. I'll save that for like boss fights or something. Do we have any big bosses that we need to take on, like the well bosses? And then. Grilled mushrooms is plus two intelligence, actually. That's huge. So we'll keep that on us, because I believe intelligence gives us... Oh, and even these herbs gives us plus two spirit for ten minutes. Uh, the flask of fell is huge. That gives us a really big uh, stamina buff. Like a really big stamina buff. So the grilled mushrooms are actually really good for us, mage. 
Because there's two points in intelligence. Alright, so let's cook. Oh yeah, I gotta put them in my uh, bar, I forgot. So we gotta go like this. Wait, what? There it is. Oh, some lock picks. Yeah, we need we need metal. I, I I gotta see if I have any in my um in my thing. But the, I mean, even in, with lock picks, though, I think we've run in the whole time we've been playing. I think I've, I've only seen two things that required me to have a lock pick. In the last one, I was able to actually open. But yeah, I gotta check and see if I have metal. But we gotta try to increase our storage too. I think there was the, I don't know if it was the hunter that had, gave me the extra eight slots. Okay, so all that's cooked up. Now let's see here. So this gives us plus one, okay, it gives us health. And this one gives us two constitution. Okay, so that gives us, both of those give us a ton of health. The honey actually gives us stamina recharge, uh, plus 15, which is pretty big. Dude's getting a good sleep. So I think it was a hunter, right? Oi. Yeah, small backpack here. So we need torn cloth, the dried fur. That's what we needed. So string and wood. Give me a sec. Let's get her set up. String and wood. So I already have one dried fur. Let me actually store this quick. I don't need this on me right now. Those. Here's our string wood. Hey. Okay, so we'll do the drying rack. salt we need salt and furs right i think i got a little bit of salt she gave me a mission actually to go scout out at like a salt mine so we're gonna have to go actually check that out but i do have a little bit of salt somewhere yeah 22 salt right there 
So yeah, we got we got a little bit of salt and some first, so we can get some dried first going. We do gotta see where where that location was that she wanted me to go. But I don't want to do purple berries, bro. There, I had to change. Oh, so I have you got to change the recipe. So, damn, it's actually quite expensive salt-wise, guys. It's three to one. William with the seventeen months, man. I appreciate it. Uh, pick up AC. Oh, Armored Core Six again. Oh, uh, William, it wasn't super popular on the channel. Um. I got hard stuck on that boss, and it was just, it was bad. Uh, it's not, I'm not saying I would never check it out again, but yeah, I definitely got hard stuck, and it, the uh, interest dwindled quite quick. But yeah, we could potentially check it out again in the future. So the salt mine is over here. Because there might be some combat over here. Let me, uh... I got a couple of runes. I'm gonna see if how much it costs to do an upgrade on the new wand we just got. Twenty-four. Holy shit! Okay, so that's all we got for right now. I I might have a little bit of stuff we can break down. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I was actually able to get a good handful of runes there. Okay, so I can actually max out that wand, which is nice. Now, is this in the shroud? Looks like it might actually be in a shroud. Oh, fucking shroud. I don't even have any shroud potions, guys. Got this right here. Plus five minute duration. See, what does it take to craft a shroud potion? Charcoal, wood acid. What the? F what is this? Wood acid. It's a resource I've never heard of. Well, I'm hoping that this other thing. There's nothing I can do shroud-wise, guys. We're just going to kind of have to play the shroud smart here. Wood acid is from the charcoal kin kiln. The kiln? Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, wood acid. So just wood and dirt. Damn, that shit takes actual ages. No, browser, I'm doing the wrong thing. Wood acid. This is what we want. That one takes ages too. I mean, granted, you get ten. Yeah, we're, we're going over here naked, chat. That'll that'll uh, that'll do its thing right now, but. So this is wax, salt. Yeah, the scavenger matron head is what we gotta we gotta figure out before we can upgrade our base. I have a pickaxe. Yeah, I, already, I, I, I keep all my tools on my bottom uh, skill bar. Or toolbar. Damn, so I'll take it. That's where the salt mine is. There's a path right there. It looks like we can go in right here. We're on the other side of this town. Yeah, going in any other way would be a little... Like here, it's a real, it's deep as hell. Yeah, so we're gonna go around that other little spot there. In this case we die, we'll set this. Damn, I wiped out that whole swarm, dude. Grab all the honey. The honey's good for stem. down oh yeah, my damage is way nasty now dude <laughs> hitting way hard now Deep.
so when we need to get out, we just... There it is. Okay. That's salt right there, right? Yep. Our stamina back. We've got two minutes. We got plenty of time to get back. Oh yeah, much better, guys. See, now we're actually spec proper. Let's grab a little bit more salt. I'm gonna go back and grab a little more. I'm just gonna top off my time real quick. Just just so we're not struggling to get it back up there, you know what I mean?
Pal World or in Shroud? It, it all depends, um, DJ, on, on, on your, what, what, you know, what one you prefer. Um, some people would probably prefer Pal World. Some people would probably prefer um, in Shrouded. Like, like I said, this is more of like a fantasy type of game where you get to play as like a warrior or like a ma you know like like a mage, or like a rogue, those type of things. It takes place in that like that fantasy type of deal. Um, where in Shrouded, it's more of like an arc style. You know, you got guns, you got melee weapons, you got the pals. You know, like teams and shit like that. So it kind of really just depends on uh, what you're looking for. Yeah, they're they're really really different games. Like, yeah, they're both survival games, I guess. But when it, you really can't compare the two, they're they're quite different experiences. actually mine quite high like away from you Dude, could you imagine if this was what minecraft was like when it first came out I mean, Minecraft when it first came out was still revolutionary. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, but I feel like this game is what we all thought we were playing. Like when, when you envisioned it. <laughs> this is this is what we thought we were playing. Yo, Minecraft was a bomb ass game. I had a lot of fun with Minecraft. Especially if you play it with like mods and shit. Yo, it's really, really dope. So we need a lot of salt for drying and shit like that. So I'm just making sure I get enough so I don't have to keep coming back for more trips. Obviously probably gonna need to come back at some point, but okay, there it is. That's all we can do for right now anyways. The game told me to stop. We gotta get better tools too. Right now we're still using stone tools. I don't even know when you get metal tools. Would I play Minecraft again someday? Um, I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, if, if there was really a reason for it. Um, but we we have so many other survival games. I don't know. If I did play Minecraft, it might be for like one sh live stream. We'd do it like once just to like fuck around. But even then... Just like that, guys. We got the salt. Now, there, oh, there was the buzz in the wall mission here. Should I knock that out real quick while we're here? Screw it.
it's a time restore. We can leave that there for right now. We don't need it. Destroy the wagon. It'll be easy to grab it later. That dude did a lot of damage. that other corner. Dude, my magic damage is off the charts, dude. Pretty sure it's up there. I think I am gonna unlock that blink attack though. Crackling wand. Can we just... Uh, I was going to say, can I break it down? So we found a stash. Didn't have anything great in it. It was just a apprentice wand, unfortunately. Well, that is what it is.
This axe is like a light, too. Okay, so this is just more salt in here. We are free! So we had two quests over there too that we had picked up. Yeah, you could break down wands and weapons. Uh, that's what I just did in there and it gives you the little coins that you can use to upgrade your other wands and weapons and stuff. So yeah, we ended up getting... Uh, I'm up to like 55 coins now, but we got a bunch of salt. Yeah, see, now we're super, super fold up. Uh, we've got seven of those. Plus the one we already have. So we can get the small backpack. We just need to grab our string. We'll meet. Uh, string is... Keep that on us. All right, so we gotta we gotta make some more string. All right, so boom, got the bigger backpack. Yeah, so right now she does have arrows. Yep, scrap and flint arrows. Not that it matters, though, for what we're using currently. The I wouldn't mind crafting up some more fire. I, I wish we could find a eternal fireball. Yo, that would be so fire, dude. Um, yeah. Yeah, we got to do the carpenter. I, I got to build the carpenter's little spot. As you guys see, I'm trying to build up a little village here. Um, so before I summon the carpenter, we got we to gotta prepare him his plot of land. Keep the village going. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he has a uh, axe there. And the pickaxe. We got to get those made up. This is for leveling out the ground. Yeah, so this is what we're going to have to work on. Metal and shroud wood. I know I got shroud wood. I went and looted a ton of it. But metal. Yep. Right there. So 
So this backpack, so you can just put it on your character. Yep, right there. Yep, gave us a extra eight slots. Obviously, that's the smallest backpack, so I'm pretty sure they can. They're gonna get bigger. I mean, you don't have to build a carpenter hut. No, I could just plop them down wherever. I could just. I had my blacksmith in here, but me personally, I'm trying to build my. Um, I'm trying to build my uh, my, my my town. But yeah, <laughs> what do we need the carpenter for? We're already building the hut, right? All right, so felling axe and pickaxe. Cool. Better to be the hammer. There we go. So now we finally have upgraded tools. Finally have some upgraded tools. And from the start of the episode to, to right now, our damage is quite nice. Now that we're fully, fully made spec, you know? We're living that good life, guys. How hard is it to make the backpack upgrades? Uh, not, I mean, I just did that one, no problem. The hardest part about it was the, uh, the dried, uh, the, the salt. To, for the drying rack, but you just got to go mine it um, in the salt mine, and I, you guys see how much I got there, and then it's just the normal animal furs with salt, and it, that makes the backpack. That was the the that was the roughest part about it was getting the dry fur. The rest of it's just string and torn cloth. So yeah, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. And you can actually make more animal furs, too, if you have these fur patches. You stitch them together and make a, a pelt. Uh, the magic is pretty decent so far. I mean, it's basic, because being a low level, you know, like, the there's you just got, like, your wand, which kind of just casts, like, you know, the little potter bolts. Uh, but then you have your staves, which you can have different magic abilities. Right now, I only have ice. I mean, I have uh, healing, too, but... Um, and then, uh, you know, you get to blink and shit like that. But there's a lot of skills and different things, uh, like, embedded into all this. So you can really flesh your character out. Um, like, there's something... There's, like, lightning magic, which we haven't seen. There's something called shroud magic, which we haven't even seen yet. Um, so yeah, we, we, got, we definitely got a, a lot to figure out, but yeah, we got little potter bolts here and it was fling out of our wands. It was doing, it's doing work. But all right, guys, we're going to end this here. This was a bit of a long one, but it was the only stream I did today because I was quite busy earlier. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much uh, for coming and hanging out tonight. Remember, if you guys want some more Enshrouded, which I'm definitely down to play because this game is freaking dope as hell. Um, I really do appreciate the love and support. Remember, if you guys want more of this, though, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to drop a comment, uh, if you're watching this afterwards, or even if you're watching right now on the live stream and you want to go drop a comment to help, you know, push the video in the algorithm, it, it's all on you. But, again, thank you so much, guys. You all have a great rest of your night. I'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff, some more streams. Not Enshrouded, not Pal World. I know people are going to ask. I don't. I got to figure out what the hell we're playing tomorrow, but... Um, I love you all. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.